YouTube, I'm back, baby. And when I say this is an impromptu video, this is an impromptu video, guys. We did this spur of the moment. I felt like we had to put a video out, and we putting one out, man. Uh, listen, I felt like we've been doing this channel for a year and a half. It's time to get to know each other a little bit better. It's time for y'all to know me, me to know more about y'all. I don't want y'all to get lazy on me now. When this video's done, I want y'all to go to the comment section and tell me what y'all's favorites are. I'm fixing to tell you what some of my favorites are, right? So we went to social media. We asked, give me a list of some of the favorites y'all want to know about. So this is what came up. My favorite clothing brand. I think this ought to be obvious by now, right? A cool clothing. A king of oneself. Every video that's been on this channel so far, guys, I've been wearing a coup in. And here's a little little Jonathan Ivey YouTube channel fun fact for you. I've never repeated any of the Aku that I've wore in any of the videos on this channel, right? I've never wore the same thing twice, right? I'm real, what's the word, diva, right? So I'm like a diva in Hollywood. Uh, when they walk down the red carpet, they don't wear the same outfit twice. I don't wear the same Aku in a, in a Jonathan Ivey video twice. I got it like that, all right? So anyway, my Aku collection has gotten silly. I did a video... I want to say seven, eight months ago, uh, uh, showing off my Aku collection. Well, I didn't get to show all of it. We're doing a part two to that video to show the rest of it. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, but uh, that should be coming out in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Uh, time has gotten silly. And then now a fight opportunity has sprang up and um, we're going to have to get ready for that. And so it just de depends on how much time we got to to, to dictate to the videos. But hopefully the Aku clothing collection gets finished with the part two um, relatively quickly. And uh, I know my my great editor Chance has been throwing up uh, pictures of of the Aku clothing matching outfits that uh, the store that I go to. I mean, they, they treat me like family guys when I go there. They match, I'm colorblind, FYI. I don't know if y'all knew that. Um, so they match up the Aku uh, outfits for me and then take pictures of it and send it to my phone, which is the pictures that y'all been seeing popping up. Um, so I know what to match up. And then, of course, I see the designs. I can make that out. And so after a period of time, I know what to put with what. But um, as far as colors go, they help me out a great deal with that. And my daughter. My daughter helps me out um, with um, colors and shades and, and things like that. Uh, so next thing. Uh, and I want to know you guys' favorite clothing collection. So let me hear that in the comments. Um, I'm sure there's going to be all kinds of variety of uh, uh, Wranglers and, and uh, John Deere. and uh, uh, but Anyway, there's going to be all kinds of things. Um, what else? Uh, favorite cologne. My favorite cologne, guys. The only, and I'm loyal. I'm loyal, guys. Dolce & Gambana Light Blue, right, is what I wear. Let's put a little bit of this on because I'm sweating a little bit. Right, a couple of little squirts. Dolce & Gabbana light blue, guys. is it, it, I really love it, right? And um, I wear it. Now, I collect a lot of things. And, and people may say some of this thing that I talk about today, I collect. I don't collect this. I just have it, right? I just like to keep it stocked. I don't consider the, me collecting this stuff. Um, but uh, so, yeah, I got my Dolce & Gabbana light blue. But I like to say stocked up, right? So I have, uh, the, this is still in the packaging, but I have the light blue, and then uh, I have another light blue that I like. But not only do I wear the light blue, I wear the um, the uh, offshoots of the light blue. So, right, Dolce & Gambana would have the light blue, but then they would have the light blue intense. And so it's a stronger, you know. And then, so I've got that. And then um, uh, another one of the intense. Uh, so that's good. But then they have another like offshoots. And so, you know, each year, you know, they would put out like a, a, a different version. So this would be the Dolce & Gabbana light blue Italian zest. Right. And so we, we've got that. And then here we've got the uh, Living Stromboli, which is a really nice uh, scent fragrance that we roll with. Here's the 2020 version. And I, finding this somewhere, I mean, good luck. It's like finding a leprechaun under the rainbow with the pot of gold. But it's uh, the love is love. It's the 2020 Dolce & Gabbana light blue release. It's um, it's uh, it's like uh, it's like finding a five-leaf clover or 
chance. Is that a four-leaf clover, five-leaf clover? I don't know. I'm not very superstitious. You're, you're more educated than I am. Um, swimming in Lampari, Lampari. I, I, I don't speak uh, Portuguese or whatever this is. And that might uh, uh, that may not be kosher, but I just did it. So anyway, guys, these are still, I haven't got to it yet. I'm still working on this one. So, but uh, they'll be waiting on me when I get ready. Uh, what else we got over here? Um, Discover Volcano. Uh, it's still in the package, but the wrapping got uh, jacked a little bit in transit. Um, now, some of these, uh, Beauty of Capri, uh, they only had the small bottle when I first got this. And then uh, I knew the small bottle ain't going to last me very long. So I had to re-up uh, when the other came in. So I was able to get the 4.2 ounce. Um, so I had to, I mean, eventually I'm going to have to get to that. Um, absolutely. Appreciate you, Chan. And then uh, the Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Sun, which uh, my friend, I've got a buddy. Let me tell this story. Chatty Bobby. Um, he really loves the Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Sun. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I guess, um, he happened to be in the mall with me. And I was, I was re-upping on some, the OG Light Blue. And he happened to be with me. And I don't know, at the time... I think Chad was like spraying off with Axe body spray or something, right? So I said, Chad, pick you out a cologne. I got you, bro. I think he picked out some Versace or something. Um, I think it was his only cologne. A year and a half later, Chad has went off the deep end. I mean, the man has got 150 bottles in his bedroom of, and puts out 18 cologne videos a day on his YouTube channel. But anyway, we're going to put his YouTube channel in the description Guys, if you support me, support Chad. He's good people. Uh, and he I, evidently smells good, right? And uh, so check out Chad's videos if, you, if you're into cologne. But uh, my favorite all-time cologne, Dolce Gabbana, light blue. Absolutely. Um, favorites. Favorites, Chance. Oh, uh, favorite movie of all time, guys. A gangster movie nobody's ever heard of. Amongst Friends, guys. Now, this is a DVD. I'm very bougie, guys, with my viewing habits. Um, it's usually 4K or nothing with Ivy. Um, but Amongst Friends didn't get a 4K release. Amongst Friends did not get a Blu-ray release. All it got was the DVD. And if I'm going to subject these retinas to a DVD, you know the movie's good. Um, it's been my favorite movie since it very first came out. Um, it's about three friends, Andy, Trevor, and Billy. And I've noticed as I'm getting, you know, as the years go by, at different segments of my life, I've been different people in this movie, right? Uh, right now, I like to think I'm Trevor, right? But I've also, as I look back over my life, at times I've been Billy and at times I've been Andy. But um, hopefully I'm Trevor right now. But if you get a chance and you've never seen this, and I know 99.9% .9 of the people watching this video have never seen Amongst Friends, I highly recommend it. If you have Voodoo, Go on Voodoo right now as we're recording this. It's free. Go on Voodoo, search Amongst Friends, and um, and watch it right now. It's absolutely free. You will not regret it. All-time favorite movie. If you value my opinion, check it out. Boom. Um, favorites, guys. I want to know your favorite movie. I want to know your favorite cologne. If you're a woman, I want to know your favorite perfume. Don't you go by the light blue makes perfume also. Um, favorite lotion. Now guys, uh, real quick, I'm going to let you in on a little Jonathan Ivy fun fact, and I don't want you to share it with anyone else because it's kind of embarrassing. My favorite lotion guys, I wear a female feminine lotion, right? From Bath and Body Works. I'm going to share this with you because I love you guys. It's called Velvet Sugar, right? It's for the ladies. I love this scent. I've always loved this scent. And, um... When I get done washing off, I put this on. Now, that's just a little visualization. You're welcome. All right. Um, I love Velvet Sugar. Now, I don't. I can't explain this to you. They've discontinued it in the stores. They don't care it in the stores anymore. It's right up there with the greatest catastrophes of all time. I don't know why they discontinued it. But anyway, you can get it online at Bath & Body Works. Now, they don't sponsor me. So um, don't tell them Ivy sent you. But if you go online, you can order it. Now, you've got to go online to order it. So when I get it, guys, I have to stock up on this stuff. And um, we stock up on it. 
because Ivy takes a lot of wash-offs. I think y'all are a little bit more high class than me. Y'all probably call them showers. Um, uh, but yeah, we, we, we put on the velvet sugar. We let it dry in and then, and then we spray the Dolce Gabbana light blue on top of it. Yeah, I smell like a brothel. Anyway, guys. Um, favorites. I want to know y'all's favorite lotion. Guys, be honest. If you put on Jergens, uh, just be honest with me. Let me know something. Um, favorite book of all time. That came up. Well, if we're not talking about the 66 books of the Bible, um, <clears throat> if we're, if we're going to exclude those, right, what would be my favorite book of all time? Well, guys, I think it's pretty clear. I think it's going to be The Man Behind the Monster, written by Charlie Dykstra. You can get it on Amazon.com. BarnesandNoble.com, uh, several places. Just Google it. Uh, you can get it in paperback, hardback. You can hit me up directly. I, I, I can link you up with it. Um, I think Charlie did an excellent job. Uh, he interviewed a lot of people on this book. He talked to a lot of people. He spent a lot of time on the book. Um, I have built a fortress of just uh, items here. Um that would be my favorite book, The Man Behind the Monster. So we got favorite book, guys. We got favorite clothing brand. We got favorite lotions. We got favorite cologne or perfume. In the comments below, guys, girls, let me know your favorites. I want to see a variety of the people that mess with me. I want to see what they like, all right? If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. What are you waiting on? You know what we do. If you haven't turned on the notifications, turn them on. We're fixing to get busy, guys. We're fixing to start churning out these videos. We got a vlog coming up. I'm going on vacation next week. We're going to we're gonna vlog the vacation. We're going to make it happen. I'm taking a group of people. We're renting a house, and we're fixing to go get super silly. Um, And then we've got uh, some fight videos. I got uh, training coming up. We, we got things coming up. We're going to make it happen. We're going to pop it off. Uh, God bless you. Um, yeah, you subscribe, you turn on the notifications, you've loved me, you've commented, you've left the thing, you've prayed for me. We're going good, guys. I love y'all. Peace!